Welcome back to my channel, everybody. It's your girl, Cosmic Neckwave. I need you to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that follow button. We are on a journey together. We're on a mission together. It never ends. There's a purpose to fulfill. You see the name and the title of this video. What is your life purpose? What is your calling? What is your destiny? No more. We don't have time no more for the uncertainty, for the anxiety, for the fear, for the economy. For the, we don't got time for nothing but me. That's the only me that we should be thinking about right now. We don't got time for no more of that shit. You have a purpose. You have a destiny. You have a life plan. Energy never dies, okay? It's either you're going to align with the energy that's fit to you or you're going to continue being in turmoil and anxiety because obviously this energy is not working for you. You have your own energetic blueprint. The same way you have your own DNA, the same way you have your own parents, you have your own energetic blueprint. We are a physical manifestation of the universe. Heaven lies inside of you. There are planets that travel through and we are the stars and they emit off these energies and we get them. The day you're born, the time you're born, the place that you're born, these planets come past these zodiac stars with these different energies and you get it. In astrology, there are plenty ways to find out your career, your soulmate, your life purpose, your direction. This is where the North Node comes into play, you guys. The North Nodes are Moon Nodes that represent your destiny. The North Node represents the path that you are on to go towards your destiny, to go towards your fate, to go towards your calling. Now listen, there is no way on earth that you could just be here playing out willy-nilly, nothing, everything happens great and nothing, because you will never know who you are. So we have these nodes that are here with a purpose and a mission to be fulfilled because it's a job to be done for everybody. That energetic blueprint that you have is specially made and catered to you. I'm a Sagittarius Scorpio moon. Every Sagittarius Scorpio moon is different. There are different degrees. There are different rising signs. You have different north nodes, different career paths. It's different energy in every chart. On top of karmic debt numbers, on top of life numbers, on top of soul urge numbers. Like this is not a game. Your energy is literally here for something to do. And the only reason why you're not in tune with it is because you're not living out your energy. The same way we look at celebrities and we, we, we see them online and everybody rushes to go do what the celebrity is doing and do what looks cool and do what looks trendy and sometimes it does not work for you. That's because it worked for who it was supposed to work for. If something looks easy, like it's working for somebody and they're just getting it so quickly and so easily, their intuition and their purpose is for them. It's not for you. It doesn't mean that you're wrong or your life is meant to be bad. It just means you're meant to do your own thing. See, so this North Node is this path that we have to grow, these lessons that we learn. It balances karma. See, that south node is fate. This is what you came from already. Balancing, you, duality, yin and yang, karma and fate, right? So we have to have a balance here. You have to know who you are to get to where you're going. You have to do it. You can't just die and I'm going to heaven. You can't. You have to prove it. You have to graduate class like how school and how we, we live here and we go to school and we learn at university and we hear the word universe and we're not even thinking and we it, it all relates. The heaven that you seek is also inside of you. If you, are a if you are a physical manifestation of the cosmos, please know the heaven that you seek is also the heaven inside of you. These energies are in you. The powers are in you. You are a manifestation of God. God cannot sit all day in this universe that God created and just be in nothing is happening. Because then nothing is happening. You are everything that you need to be. So we are a physical incarnation of God acting out God. We are, God is acting out God through us. Things are happening, good and bad. You have free will, and that's your right to go align to what energetically feels right for you, for whatever path, purpose you had to do, whatever your mission is, so God can understand and your purpose could be fulfilled. You have to follow your, your blueprint, okay? So these North Nodes represents the lessons that we must learn. School, you're a student right now. This is a, You're a student. You, 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 you will graduate. You will be a master. You will be a scholar. Follow me. Subscribe to me at Cosmic Neck Break because we're going to get there. But we are a student. It's lessons to learn. The universe, the cosmos, the energy. We better get in tune. It's not, I'm going to keep saying it's no way that you can live on earth and not study the universe and not study its energy and not understand who you are. 
in the, the details of who you are lie inside of your birth chart. So welcome to my video. So I'm happy that you're here. What is your life purpose? What is your destiny? What is your calling? I'm here to let you know. It's no time. You don't even have to stress anymore. Your whole life purpose is embedded in the North Node and the South Node, okay? These nodes change like every 18 months or so. The moon sign, very different. These are moon nodes. The moon signs change every two to three days, but the moon nodes change around every 18 months or so, which is great because what that means is you have a tribe of people out there that have the same energetic placement that are here to fulfill the same lessons that you are here to fulfill. We all have a job to do at a time that we're supposed to do it, okay? And everybody with your North Node has the same lesson and the same karma and the same fate. You're coming from the same past life. A lot of family members have the same placement. You will see as I do this video, a lot of people, you're from the same soul group already. It all makes sense. It all correlates. Soul tribes, soul groups, soul mates, okay? We are all souls with a mission to do. We're mates. So the North Node represents this karmic path, right? We're here to learn these lessons, right? We're required to stretch outside of our comfort zone. This is what you're going towards now. That's why life is, it cannot be easy. You have to go towards that calling and that destiny, but it's going to be outside of your comfort zone. You already know what's comfortable. You already came out that South Node energy. You're already comfortable in that energy. You live that life already. Now, look, when things are easy and they're com comfortable in it, does that always mean that it's good? Does it always mean we feel happy? No. Sometimes you're not fulfilled. Look at rich people. They have all the money in the world. Sometimes they still be miserable because sometimes you need a challenge. You need to learn. If you know everything already and you're comfortable, you already had these past lives in this placement, in this other placement, you, you have to keep learning. You got to, energy doesn't die. It transmutes. You have to go now into your next life, figuring that out. So then where do you go after this? The North Node literally activates your life mission. If you have not been knowing what your mission is on this planet, you will know by the end of this video, okay? Everything is duality, yin and yang, imbalance, polarity. The sooner you align yourself in your path, the more purpose-driven you will feel like your life is. If it's not working for you, it's not energetically in your chart. It's not energetically in your purpose, in your plan. You have to align to what works for you, right? So then we have this South Node energy. We not understanding this came from already a past life. You lived out that purpose already. So now you're here to do something else. So your mission is not comfort. The mission is understanding who you are. You got to do digging. You have to learn who you are. We're spiritual beings. We, we, we're spiritual beings. This is a spiritual world. We're spiritual. We're a soul. This vessel, this body, this personality, this ego, this character, it, all its mission is to do is to go get the soul what the soul needs so the soul can understand who the soul is to return back to God. Period. Look at, look at the earth. Look at South Pole and look at the North Pole. Look at how everything is light or dark. Everything is left or right. You have a choice. You have this North Pole, this South Pole. The northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere. One is getting a season, the other one is getting the opposite season. The north pole is this, the south pole. It's all different, right? The earth is already moving in balance, in unison. This world is here, it's vast and it's big. There are places that will there are places that your energy will align way better than where you are right now. But that's another video for another time. Right now, we're talking about life purpose, so you can get the ball going, so that when I do the next video, we understand where we're going, okay? This is a series, so that's why you need to subscribe, follow, comment, like, share this video, tap a friend, put it on a projector, and show your family. We got to wake up now. That's it. We don't have much time to figure out our life purpose. They're trying to do things to manipulate us further because they understand. They know the time that we're in. They know what Aquarius energy brings. They know what natural hair movement brings. They know these type of things. You cannot know who you are in these type of slavery environments. That's why they never wanted us to read, okay? Every sign has a sister, brother, neighboring sign. You have a sign that mirrors you, the same energy, but y'all both just coming from it from a different spectrum. North node in Leo, south node in Aquarius. I have to sit up right for this one. Okay. Leo, ruled by the sun, the ego, the personality, your will, your, your determination, getting things done. Leo rules the fifth house, creative expression, how you express yourself. Leo, fire sign, passionate, extroverted. Leo, everything is very passionate. With Leo. Everything is creativity, ideas, living out your dreams, expressing your passions, and everything is kind of sort of like with Leo, things tend to be kind of sort of like for self and for it's like ego is the sun, it's, it's the personality, it's it's this is why ego and narcissism is very not it's not too far off. This is ruled by the sun, okay? The sun makes us so happy. Like I would feel like this shit too if I was the sun, like honestly. But 
we're still in a society here. Leo feels it's happiest when it's in a position of authority. It's happiest. Leo needs to be in control. So somebody with a North Node in Leo, some celebrities, Barack Obama, Beyonce, Gandhi, Kim Kardashian, position of authority, Leo. These are people that lived out their life purpose, lived out their North Node Leo purpose. We see it in society with these people, okay? If you have a North Node in Leo, you have a lot of power. And what you have to do is understand that you have this power and how you want to use this power. You literally can be a spiritual enlightener or you could be a tyrant. Like, it's up to you however you choose. Like, Barack Obama literally became the president of the United States. This is North Node and Leo energy. Beyonce is looked at as a mega superstar. This is North Node and Leo energy. Gandhi, North Node and Leo energy. Is how do how do you want to play this right now? Like, basically, because you have what it takes. You already have everything. Now, you're coming from South Node and Aquarius. Aquarius is the age we are now. This is advancement, technology, intelligence. This is scientific. This is detachment as well. Now, this is where your issues lie. See, that South Node and Aquarius past life that you've been through, you're so detached from emotion. Leo is all passion and the will and the heart. You don't even know what you feel. You don't really know what you feel, and that's a problem with Leo. North Node and Leo is supposed to know what they feel, understand what they feel, because it's a mission to be done. Your whole purpose is to understand that your passions lie in what you feel to be true, because you have a job to do, and it's very important. So North Node and Leo person, you cannot do everything because the group is doing it. Like, when you reach a certain age in life, you're either going to be very miserable, or you're going to realize that it's time to express yourself. Like, North Node, North Node and Leo people need to be free. They need to break up and do their own thing. Beyonce needed to leave the group. She was not feeling it. She did not feel like her life purpose was. And did Beyonce spare us wrong? <laughs> when she left the group, she had to leave the group. If she did not leave the group, she would not be the mega superstar Beyonce on her own in her own class. This is North Node and Leo energy. You have to express yourself however you want to do it. Your ideas, be free to be you, right? The biggest challenge for somebody with a North Node and Leo is being in the, in the spotlight and maintaining being humble. That's going to be your biggest challenge for life. Because however your next life play out, you need to be focused on this destiny right now, okay? If you are in a, a position of authority and power over a lot of mass of people, you need to understand how to, how you are working energy and how you need to manipulate your energy for the betterment of society and for the goodness of this world. Am I looking like, what's Gossip Girl, Blair? I feel like I'm giving Blair from Gossip Girl. This headband was just to add some oomph because it was like no oomph, but I needed some oomph. So it's very much so giving Gossip Girl. Like, please don't play with me. Thanks. <laughs> the Leo's whole purpose, a North Node Leo, because you got that South Node Aquarius, your whole purpose is to advance. Aquarius is advancement. Aquarius is, if you have Aquarius in your chart, wait till I get into this series. But if you have Aquarius in your chart, you are literally 10 steps ahead of the game. Aquarius is advancement. This is ruled by Uranus. Uranus is a rebel that figures things out. Uranus is distinct. Also, if you have Uranus in the 10th house, which is the house of career, Whatever you do is supposed to be out of the box, weird, and quirky. I have Uranus in, in the 10th house. I cannot do nine to five jobs. I can, I, I'm miserable. My life purpose is not being fulfilled. Working in regular society, I have to do something weird and out of the ordinary. So, yeah, my astro healing tarot services, it's not even weird. Like, it was going to blow mine. It's talking too much. Get home. This is where North Northern Leo could really, really, really act out that humbleness. See, you're coming from... South Node and Aquarius. Aquarius is an air sign as well. Very detached from emotions, very much so just in the head. So if you're in your head, you know how to problem solve. You know how to assess situations and come to it without emotion and more so logic. Because at North Node, Leo, Leo was trying to figure out the emotions. But you already have everything that you need to act out this authoritative position. But now it's just time to bring down the empathy, bring down the emotions into it, right? Bring down the heart. With this placement... You literally help yourself by helping others because you know how to problem solve and get things done. You are already in an important position that is in the spotlight already or in some type of mainstream appealing to a lot of mass people at one time. If you know how to problem solve and solve problems, do you know how many career options comes from that? Analytically, you know how to problem solve. You're already getting the attention. You already have North Node and Leo. So that's a major skill. Okay, see how everything is needed, balance. You needed that emotion and passion and will, but then you still have 
this emotionally detached side of you that is kind of sort of needed for you to be able to assess problems. That's why we have to merge together our masculine and feminine because it all makes sense and it all helps us get things done quicker. Both Lord and Leo person though, one thing you have to look out for is the fact that you don't know how to express your emotions. A North Lord and Leo person could feel very burdened because they have a lot to do. They feel in their bones that they have a big job to do, but they can't express it or get it out like how they need to. Like they don't know how to deal with emotions or like their pain. And they usually could shock the world by like doing something rebellious and like acting out. But just because that's what they feel natural in doing. Their South Node is an Aquarius rebellion. So you need something to get out how you have to express yourself. But just know it is not hard to sit down and spill and reflect and go to therapy and especially people that are in higher positions you are also human not everything has to be perfect okay stop with me and follow subscribe like at cosmic neck braids follow me on instagram follow me on youtube follow me on instagram subscribe like notifications tell a friend to tell a friend take control of your shit we are taking control of our shit we are over it i'm over it take control of your shit take control of your shit take control of your shit take control of your shit